Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most perfectly balanced game of City Skylines yet. I am the Spiffing Brit, an expert and master exploiter of video games, and today I'll be creating the most profitable city in the world using an endless stream of financial market manipulation. So go grab yourself a cup of Yorkshire tea gold and ascend into Britishness as I'm about to teach you how to print money out of thin air using the exact same tricks and manipulations as Wall Street itself. So without further ado, let's begin. Welcome, ladies Ladies and gentlemen, to our brand new city, the city of London itself. Now, many of you might be saying, Spiff, okay, so you want to make the most profitable city in the world, and you want to make as much money as fast as possible using completely broken stock market manipulation. What has that got to do with the city of London? Well, that's because, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little known fact that the actual real city of London, located right in the heart of London, has basically no one living there, and yet one of the highest GDP per capita the universe has ever seen. We are going to replicate that today by having an incredibly small city with a very diminished yet pampered population and yet create one of the wealthiest cities in the known universe. Yes, we start with 700,000, but it matters little for basically any loan is enough to completely and utterly destroy this game. So first things first, ladies and gentlemen, we need to do a few things. Number one, we need to set up a stock market, which we will do right the way down here. This is going to be our first building, ladies and gentlemen, the stock exchange. It allows us in order to invest money into very various stocks and shares that will in turn increase or decrease in value. Just like the real stock market, all of these shares that we can be trading will be increasing and decreasing in value based on various modifiers and random chance. For example, the shares in Traffic Jelly Logistics go up and down based on how good the traffic flow in your city is. If traffic flow is good, then profits of this company are high, consequently the shares are good value. But due to the fact that the stock price is able to go up and down based off of tangible game effects, you might be guessing that that means we as the player are able to influence it, which in turn means we're able to completely and utterly destroy the balance of this game. So first things first, we need to get ourselves a rudimentary city structure set up, nothing too crazy. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is our basic rudimentary city setup. It's nothing too jazzy, but this entire city is designed around one very important thing, agriculture. For you see, we are going to play the agricultural stock market like nobody's business and consequently generate copious amounts of money. This is all thanks to the fact that we have a huge amount of fertile farmland right here in our own city. So we'll be making as much money off of it as possible. Now the reason we've gone for agriculture is because it's a very easy thing to start purchasing. The farming industry requires us to just have 200 squares of farming industry buildings to actually unlock, but the more farms we have, the more valuable the farming stock actually is. At the same time, we'll also unlock a few other companies as we go. The greasy gasoline ink opens up as soon as there are 50 cars in the city, and the more cars there are, the more money it makes. But anyway, I need to actually spend some of my starting initial investment on some stocks and shares, so I'm going to grab myself 50,000 worth of stock into the very legitimate company and I'll save the rest of my money until residences have started moving into my city and I can start charging them for driving cars. So our first few visitors are actually moving into the city and in turn that means the cars that come with them are moving for our city and hopefully very soon we're going to have our first 50 cars move in and when we do we're going to make a lot of money off of them. And fantastic the gasoline company has opened as there are now 50 cars in our city so we're going to buy as many shares into this company as possible. Now we can't afford too many, just 322 shares, but I am so confident in the fact that this is going to go up as more and more people grow and move into our city that I'll take out a £200,000 loan, as well as a £60,000 loan, and a £20,000 loan, sending us into massive quantities of debt just so that I can buy more shares in this company. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't afford the investments you want to take, just go into debt in order to get them. If anything from reading Wall Street Bets, this is the most opportune and sound advice anyone can give you. It 100% won't lead to you losing all of your money. Oh god, those people are there. Anyway, our city is starting to grow. Yes, we are going into absolutely gigantic quantities of debt, but it matters little. For as you can see, the stock and share price of Greasy Gasoline Co. is rising like nobody's business, and so is the very legitimate company that we invested in. Oh, now we do have a little bit of bankruptcy alert here. Uh, we basically have to accept a bailout of 50 grand, and that's completely fine. I don't mind getting a bailout, but trust me, we need to be spending all of this money. I will massively lower our spending on certain government goods and services, 
sewers. Oh my, actually that was a bad idea. The sewage is now backing up because I accidentally cut too much money to the water company. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, right, we need water, yes. Let me fix that. Our farms over here also need electricity, so let me fix that for them. And there we go, fantastic. Our city is growing, our population is growing, and our use of cars are growing, which is ultimately actually more important. In order to properly grow this city as well, I'll crank down our taxes on residentials, and just before we go completely bankrupt, that's when we can start messing about with our investments. As you can see, the share price of the Greasy Gasoline Inc. is just absolutely soaring into the skies, simply due to our lovely, wonderful quantities of cars. People need cars to get around, and those cars are going to make us money. That's just base logic. And as more people move into the city, more industries and farms are growing. Look at these cute little cows. It's a cow. No, it's not. It's a bird. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Your eyes deceive you. But yes, our city is doing good, despite the fact that all reports would say that we're leading to a giant crippling debt incident. Later. You see, I wondered why the share price of Greasy Gasoline Inc. collapsed, and then I realized that uh, it is basically tied to our own spending in the city. So because I'd lowered the budget on road maintenance, our investment in Greasy Gasoline Inc. naturally bombed. But since I've increased our spending, it has actually gone up. Meaning if I crank this up to 150%, we will see the share price climb even more. This is, uh, you know, slightly manipulative and does allow us a certain quantity of leeway on a market that potentially we shouldn't have. However, fear not ladies and gentlemen i promise i will only use this newfound power for good you can trust me on that i'm british i would never lie except all of those times where british people famously have so there we go we're now into giant profit of the greasy gasoline ink company and it is climbing and climbing and climbing this is all lovely and good to see and a very good sign for our investments as we're up to a profit of seventy thousand over here which is very good make that a hundred thousand meanwhile our very legitimate company is basically set up entirely on random chance. It will go up and down and then one day it will crash very badly. Now our city isn't perfect, it's a little bit janky, some of it does very well, some of it does very poorly, however we now have just broken even in terms of spending, which is very very good indeed. Anyway, it's time for me to start making money, and a lot of money. As you can see, Greasy Gasoline Inc. is just getting better and better, we are getting more and more cars in our city as it is growing, which in turn is yielding profits from our original investment. 640 grand is now worth 855 grand, lovely stuff indeed. So it's time for us to cash in some of that money. So I'm going to sell all of my shares in the Greasy Gasoline Inc, making 893,000, yielding us a profit of 252,000. Now at this point, I'm sure some of you are saying, hey Spiff, go pay off the loans you took out. And logically the answer is yes, that's exactly what I should do. However, the best thing about the financial world, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you never pay off your loans, they just go away. Or the government steps in and pays them off for you. It's wonderful. Consequently, instead of paying off our loans we're going to slash all spending to road maintenance and watch as the share price of the greasy gasoline ink hopefully takes a little bit of a nosedive. There are a few ways we can actually manipulate the share price even further. For example we can encourage cycling in our lovely residential district that will lead to less cars existing as more and more residents decide to switch to you know just cycling around places. And as we can watch the lovely greasy gasoline ink stock price is dipping further and further back down to where we actually found it. Lovely, lovely, lovely market manipulation, ladies and gentlemen. It's perfectly balanced. So, wabam, greasy gasoline stock price has absolutely crashed into the ground. It's down to being worth just 1,100. And this is probably where it's going to stabilize out a bit. So, in order to manipulate the market further, I'm going to buy a colossal quantity of shares in this company. This time, I'm going to buy 776 shares, leaving us with 38 grand. Actually, who am I kidding? We're going to buy even more. Wabam, there we go. That's all of our money spent. Next up, we're going to crank back up that road maintenance spending so that more people use vehicles and at the same time we're going to switch our policy from encouraging cycling to actually banning bicycles on sidewalks. This is going to have the wonderful effect of forcing all of our city's users to switch back to cars meaning they will purchase more cars and consequently our lovely investment is going to start increasing in value. Now it's going to take a little while for it to actually bottom out but already you're seeing that lovely curvature that we in the stock market industry love. Yes 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 look at this grow. More cars, my friends. That's exactly what you want. So, we're bam, we're already into 100,000 worth of profit, which is very, very nice indeed. However, we can go further. I know we can go further, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going even further beyond. With our city growing up to a lovely population of 2,465, which is probably the maximum we're ever going to need it to be, we're taking our lovely investment and reaching it in toward the stratosphere. And considering that all we have to do in order to actually cause this to happen is just a little 
little bit of basic policy manipulation, forcing our own pedestrians to just not drive cars for a week or two, I'd say it's completely worthwhile. And would you look at that, we've achieved $400,000 worth of profit by doing literally absolutely nothing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely and horrifically perfectly balanced, but this isn't even the fastest way to do it. For you see, there is another. Now, I'm going to let this stock price just continue climbing up to its resting point of probably around about 1,700, and then we'll be selling ourselves out of here with a tidy profit of 458,000. So we're bam, we're gonna sell all of our shares, and that's now taken us up to 1.3 million. Effectively, we've doubled our starting money in the matter of just a few months, which is absolutely wonderful indeed. Now, with that starting money, we need to start actually manipulating our world a little bit better. For a start, we need greater water and sewage availability, which is perfectly fine and manageable. And next up, I want to actually start truly manipulating the stock markets. Because what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is break the farming industry. The farming industry is very simple. The more farms you have and the more money your farms are producing, the more valuable it is. Now, we want our farming industry to grow, which means we need a large amount of workers available and potentially also educated workers. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for today's episode of Science with Spiff. Now, in today's science lesson, with our 1.2 million, we're going to cause a little bit of a financial crash. So my goal is to make money off the farming industry. At the moment, the price is relatively stable, fluctuating between 366 and 400. However, I want to be able to buy low and sell high. This is the fundamentals of stock market trading. However, most people, when they buy stocks and shares, don't know that the only real reason you should be doing so is if you can guarantee the price can go up and down based off of your own personal actions, which is exactly what we can do. For today, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to turn off the lights. We're going to half our production of electricity and water in the city, which is immediately going to plunge most of the city into total drought and electric shortage. This, as you can imagine, slightly affects the farming industries. Don't ask me how cows refuse to function unless they have access to light bulbs, but it does not matter. For in doing this, the farming industry stock price absolutely plummets into the ground, as you can see here. It's down 23%, and it is heading to its floor of 250 at an absolutely wonderful pace. So we're bam, the farming industry has bottomed out. What a shame, 257, that's all it is worth. So we're going to spend 256,000 buying all 1,000 shares of farming industry. What we're then going to do is turn back on the lights after literally just one day of having them off. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen, electricity returns and everyone's happy. No one's upset, no companies close down, there's no discernible impact on the economy, except for the fact that, oh dear, the stock price of the farming industry is rising. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This seems highly exploitable and very manipulatable indeed. And that's exactly what it is, ladies and gentlemen. One giant glorious exploit. So bam, our lovely farming industry has now petered out back to around about the 400,000 mark where it belongs. This is the point in which we can sell all of our shares in the company and collect a tidy profit of, a, of just under 200,000. Very, very nice indeed. So back to our other manipulations. We want to lower the amount of cars being used in our lovely world. So how are we gonna do that again? Well, we've increased the maximum use of cars thanks to our lovely high road maintenance, but it's time for that to end. We're now going to remove our ban on bicycles and encourage biking. We're then going to slash all of our lovely road maintenance and this should hopefully crash the price of greasy gasoline ink. A few moments later. And as you can see, our results have been very effective and we've crashed the price from well over 2,000 down to uh, 1,500. Lovely stuff indeed. I think this is probably where it's going to vaguely bottom out at. Oh no, no, it can go lower. Lovely stuff, 1,477. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Now, as we can see, more and more people are gonna be using bicycles and that's lovely. We love the use of bicycles. Look at this person here using a bicycle in order to go to a restaurant where instead of they could have simply used a car. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's profitability. So now with this incredibly low, low price of 1,196, I think it's time for us to uh, start buying some shares in the greasy gasoline ink in order to, you know, double our money. So we're going to buy all 1,000 shares for 1.1 million. We're then going to crank up our spending on road maintenance and now ban bicycles, which forces everyone who'd suddenly switch to bicycles in order to switch away from bicycles because we have no bicycle paths, so it is illegal to ride bicycles anywhere. Anyone seen riding a bicycle will now be shot and exiled out of the city of London. Yes. And already the lovely cars are returning to the streets. Look at this glorious cars, glorious garbage trucks everywhere. It's wonderful. The more garbage trucks, the more cars on the road 
the more cars on the road, the more profits we have. Speaking of profits, we should probably spend some more of our money to grow our city a little bit more. We desperately need more population availability. So that's what I'm going to provide. So bam, we've expanded our city to the south a bit, which in turn will lead to more cars. And, and would you look at that? We've already gained 50% on our original investment. We're up to 652,000 already. This is wonderful indeed. There are cars everywhere and these cars are doing glorious things, making us wonderful quantities of money. And there we go. We've already made 1 million in profit so we can sell all of our shares for 2.2 million. And oh my, oh my, oh my, that's a lot of cash we've just got from crashing a stock market. Now with all of the money we've just made, I think we should probably do a few very silly things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I found our next glorious scam. Sorry, I mean money-making operation and manipulation technique. Allow me to introduce you to one of the greatest money makers in American history, the private healthcare system. For you see, if you can convince people to pay to live and they have money, then they'll probably do just that, which means we can manipulate them and consequently profit from them. So how are we going to do it? Well, it's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do is crash this lovely healthcare fund. As you can see, it's valued at around about $844 per share. So it seems the healthcare value of the share price is basically tied entirely to where you put this bar. So what I've done is I boosted up the bar a bunch and that raised the value of the healthcare service fund to 1,130. Yeah, that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy some shares here, I think 1.1 millions worth of shares. And then we're just gonna crank up the uh, value of our healthcare spending, which in turn is immediately going to yield us 100,000 worth of profit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is literally just perfectly balanced, I do believe, yes. Now, there might be a few things we can do to even increase this further. For example, a few new giant swanky hospitals positioned everywhere, granting 100% coverage to all of our lovely citizens might be a good shout. So we'll do that and that should have, I don't know, some effect on the share price. Okay, no, it's had absolutely no effect on the share price. Fine, well, I'm gonna sell up my shares for 122, for 120,000, demolish all of these hospitals that we don't actually need. And then with that profit, I'm going to slash the spending we have on healthcare, which in turn will cause a dip in the value of the health service fund back down to being worth 1,000 each. I'm then going to naturally buy 1 million shares in the healthcare fund. And then I will increase our spending on healthcare by 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is um, slightly broken, some would say, just, just ever so slightly. For now, I have just made 250,000 out of thin air. Perfectly balanced, <laughs> as all things should be. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Another thing that's been going very well is our manipulation of the farming industry, ladies and gentlemen. The greater the farming industry grows, the better it is for us. There are, of course, a few ways we can manipulate the stock market in order for personal gain. One ever so slightly broken manipulation is that the more deaths we have, the higher value the death care service fund is. So uh, if you just want to kill off your entire city's population, then that's a great way to make money. However, that's not exactly what I'm going to be aiming for today. But anyway, I've massively increased the value of the farming industry with thanks to the use of these very very jazzy cargo hub thanks to all of that our cargo industry is absolutely booming ladies and gentlemen but for now i think it's time for us to also try and make some money by crashing the value of the gasoline company once more so i'm going to slash our spending on roads slash our spending on electricity water you know what we're just going to crash all of the stock market simultaneously plunging our city into absolute chaos we should see an absolute collapse of stock prices across the board also now going to encourage cycling, ban heavy traffic across the entire city, and ban combustion engines. This is going to cause um, an absolute financial and economic collapse of our city due to the fact that, well, we kind of need combustion engines and you can't really run farms on bicycles. However, that is not for me to worry about, for I will just plunge this city into just a little bit of chaos for a few moments. So that has caused the healthcare service fund to collapse to 500 per share, so naturally we'll buy all of that. It has collapsed the farming industry to be worth just 500 each and the greasy gasoline vehicles are plummeting into the floor lovely stuff indeed oh my goodness the healthcare service fund has collapsed even more this is fantastic oh my oh my, my sadly that does mean we missed out on a bit of profit but who cares it's fine i think all of our shares in the farming industry are now ready to be purchased as well and the farming industry will start getting mad if we don't improve it so yes we'll buy all of the shares in the farming industry and as many shares in gasoline cars as we can i'll once again have to take out a few giant 
giant loans in order to facilitate buying more shares in the petrol company. It's exactly what we need. So bam, there we go. We have 700 shares in the petrol company and a whole bunch of value across the board. Now it's time for us to crank up spending to all of our lovely good services and industries and at the same time undo all of our lovely chaotic changes we decided to do. Ma bam, there we go. The city is saved, ladies and gentlemen. Get back to using cars. And now if we take a look at our investments across the board. Oh my, they're going up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, they are indeed. Look at that. The healthcare service fund has already made us 750,000 in profit. So we're bam, we'll sell all of those. And we'll actually use the profits to buy the remaining shares of the greasy gasoline ink because it's going to climb. We know it is. The farming industry has also bounced right back up to where it was at 800,000, giving us a lovely profit. And I'll hold on to those shares for a little while longer because I'm such a nice person. Anyway, I want those greasy gasoline cars back. Oh dear, there's a lot of dead people. Um, well, I suppose now's a great time to invest in uh, the dead people industry. So let's get some lovely crematoriums built. One, two, three. Wonderful. And just like that, we can now invest in dead people. So ta-da, the death care service fund is ready. And the health care service fund has collapsed. Oh, this is brilliant. This is an opportunity. Yes, it looks like population across the board is getting sick and dying. Oh my, yes, there are a lot of dead people. Wonderful indeed. If you just want to kill off your entire city's population, then that's a great way to make money. However, that's not exactly what I'm going to be aiming for today. So now is naturally a great time for us to sell off farming shares, crash the medical sector even more so as to cause absolute chaos, then buy the remaining 500,000 worth of medical shares and death care shares, and then crank up the budget on both of them just to ensure that our city flows lovely and smoothly. And would you look at that, we've already started to turn gigantic profits on dead people. Lovely stuff indeed. Who knew pilfering corpses could be so profitable? Uh, wait, actually, sorry, I'm British and we've made a habit out of it. Thank you, Egypt. Who would have imagined you'd just accumulate a huge amount of valuable artifacts and corpses in one location? It's brilliant. Anyway, we're going to make a nice tidy 700,000 off of the medical industry and everything is looking good. Our total profits from our stocks and shares nightmares are up to 4.9 million. Our city has never really turned a profit, but at the same time, we've never had to. Unlike other cities, we don't need to generate money via taxes. No, 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 no. Instead, we make our money via other, more normal and slightly dubious means by manipulating our own city's stock market and scamming the common investor who has no idea where their money is going. All they saw is that the price of the death care funeral fund has crashed in half again. Oh no, I wonder what's causing that. Oh yes, the mayor sold all of the ambulances again. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to buy all of the funeral shares, all of the medical shares, and I'm going to crank back up that spending. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Game, you definitely do make it nice and easy for me, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an urgent appeal. The people of the City of London have been suffering for too long. They are without electricity, drinkable water, or any meaningful service to take the thousands of corpses away. But you can make a difference. By giving this video one like, you're showing a member of the City of London that there is someone out there who cares. Because Lord knows, I don't. I will kill them all, ladies and gentlemen. My population exists to be tortured. And if you don't appease me by also commenting on the video, you, human being, will be my next target of exploits. If I can do it in a video game, I can do it in real life. There is nothing stopping me anymore. I've consumed Yorkshire tea. <laughs> now, I've just had an absolutely brilliant near supervillain idea. You see, the medical industry makes money when people are ill. The more people that are ill, the more money it makes. So naturally, what if we had a way to, you know, just kind of inspire our population to be ill? And so that's where I've had the brilliant idea of poisoning the groundwater. You see, by moving all of our water towers next to our sewage outlets, we're going to have our population effectively drink sewage water, which in turn is going to have some very wonderful effects happen on our glorious and lovely little stock prices. At the same time, the death care service fund is currently yeeting up into the stratosphere, and I get the feeling it's going to go up higher, so I'm going to invest more into it. And yes, would you look at that? It is now worth uh, 1.3 million. Who knew poisoning the groundwater would be so effective at making money off of the funeral industry? Absolutely wild indeed. Indeed. And yes, our healthcare service fund is now recouping all of the losses that we believed it was going to have. Oh my goodness, this was such a great idea. Why didn't I think about poisoning the groundwater sooner? This is so smart. Oh, it's wonderful. Yep, half the population is now ill, and so money is about to be made. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to naturally sell all of our shares, sell our shares in the health fund, slash the budget for both of them, which is going to cause a sharp dip in their value. And then we're going to move all of our water towers back to the the normal location where they don't actually 
poisoned people. So, well, bam, back you go, my lovely friends. Let's get this city running normally without any dead people. And, well, bam, there we go. The population will start getting better soon. And would you look at that? Yep, that wave of sickness has just immediately left the city. And this will result in an absolute collapse in the value of our health and funeral industry over time. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And would you look at that? The health industry has just collapsed in value. And so is the deaf, oh, um, the, the deaf, <laughs> the deaf industry. Uh, is it going to be doing so hot right now because there's a lot of dead people? Um, oh. <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? I appear to have killed a lot of the population. And you know what? That's okay. Um, there's 526 dead people in the city, 2,706 citizens. Uh, yes, we're going to need kind of a few more hospitals and such. Right, let me just quickly expand out this way, get ourselves a giga hospital and a few giga crematoriums. There we go. Crematoriums and hospital, away you go, my friends. Away you go. Now, I've just realized this is probably also going to lower the amount of road vehicles on the road because a lot of our population just died. So I'm actually going to try and make some money by crashing the uh, budget for road. I'll, I'm also going to increase the budget for medical care and this will allow me to hopefully buy the medical shares at a really low cost of 300,000 and then as the population kind of improves, okay, or just immediately I'm going to be able to double my money, triple my money even. Uh, that's goddamn quadrupling my money. That's fine. That's 900,000. Uh, well, I'll immediately sell my shares, uh, lower the spending we have on medical care and and see if we can just repeat this process over and over again. I mean, just look at this goddamn stock graph. Look at this graph. This is so stupid, this graph. I love it. Right, Deaf Service Fund, you're doing great, my friends. I'm going to buy all of your lovely shares for 700,000. Same for my lovely friends in the healthcare fund. And then we're going to crank up your budgets just to really hammer home your value because we love and we respect you and we know that you're worth the money. And look at that, you, Ben, ladies and gents. That's a quick 200,000 profit on both of these bad boys, which is profit that I'm going to be taking. Also, our stock market, ladies and gentlemen, we've turned a profit of 7.5 million, which is absolutely wonderful indeed. Anyway, we need to uh, sort out this incredibly sick population uh, before we start killing everyone. At the same time, it's time to ban vehicles again, so heavy traffic ban, encourage biking, let's ban combustion engines. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, I've bombed the healthcare stock price. Look at that. It is worth 146. Oh my goodness. This is phenomenal. Okay, I'm just going to buy all of the shares in the medical industry because we can pretty much increase its value by 10 times. Uh, so yeah, I will buy all of those lovely shares. Right, and I've wiped a good amount off of the gasoline uh, industry, so naturally I am going to crank up that spending again and now ban bicycles and switch everyone back to using cars. Lovely stuff indeed. Right, you know what? I think it's time for me to pretty much double my money again. So yes, we're going to make the entire city ill again by feeding them contaminated water. So so, ba bam I'm just going to move all of my lovely water towers into their lovely location. We don't need all of them over here, but just enough so that the vast majority of the water supply is poisoned, and then our investments into death and health should go very nicely. At the same time, as this is going to crash the economy, it does make a good sense to sell all of my shares in the oil industry, so we're bam they're going to go, and we're bam it's time for the great murdering to commence. Lovely stuff indeed. Our first few populations should start getting ill nice and soon. And if we now switch on over to the health map mode, we can see that yes, the vast majority and average health of our citizens is dropping very low indeed. And when low average health happens, the Deaf Service Care Fund yeets its way up into the stratosphere for no discernible reason. Wonder what all of this could be about. Still, yes, the average population health is declining very rapidly and very soon everyone will get very, very sick indeed. So it is time for us to sell all of our shares in the funeral care for one million and well, bam, the great sickening begins. And with this, the healthcare service fund shall start to yeet its way into the stratosphere. Yes, reach up for the stars. Let those bodies pile higher. Reach up for the stars. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my. I have, um, I've killed my city, haven't I? Right. Well, immediately, uh, that means enough of the population is going to be horrifically ill. So, um, we need to move these 
back and out of the way as fast as possible. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have become deaf, destroyer of worlds, but trust me, it's not my fault that the game lets me do this. It's the game's fault for giving me a stock market to play with, god damn you. I'm a good person, I promise. Anyway, everyone's nice and ill, so uh, yes, we're going to sell all of our shares, and then we can also quickly make a quick buck by slashing our investment in the medical industry to just dip its price down a fair bit. Actually, this is most effective on the funeral service care fund. And now that this has crashed down to about 865, there we, go. there we go. Can we go any lower? Nope, that's about as low as we can get. Bam, we're going to buy all of those shares, crank up our spending on the medical industry, and watch as this yeets its way up into immediate profit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Wonderful stuff indeed. Yes, some of my city may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am more than willing to make. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've just had a fantastic final idea for an experiment. If death equals money with the death service fund, surely, ladies and gentlemen, there must be a very easy way to make money. Yes, yes, this is the way. This is the way, ladies and gentlemen. A giant meteorite heading right into the center and heart of our glorious city. That is what will generate us an infinite quantity of money, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's right. All we need is more dead people. More dead people is more good. And more good is more money. After all, profits are all that matter. Human lives are temporary and fickle. But the stock market is eternal, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And here it is. The meteor. Somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's on its way. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, the meteor of profitability. I can see it hurtling towards us at high speeds. High profit margins. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Money raining from the sky. Glorious profits. Glorious, glorious profits. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what we needed. Glorious, tasty profitability baby the way city planners just designed it perfect and if there are any survivors we can tax them to live oh, oh, oh. I love building cities if you've enjoyed today's video then make sure to give it a like and why not consider subscribing for more dastardly evil exploits this has been the city of London and we have turned a glorious profit indeed anyway thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen I'll see each and every one of you in the next one goodbye for now of course a majestic thank you to each and every one of our amazing YouTube channel members and patrons for funding our wonderful shenanigans